given x plus one over x equals minus one. Find x to the power of fourteen plus x. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. Because x plus one over x equals minus one. So x doesn't equal zero. Multiplying both sides of the equation by x, we have x squared plus one equals minus x. x squared plus x plus one equals zero. So b squared minus 4ac equals one minus four equals minus three, which is less than zero. So there are no real solutions in this case. To find x to the power of 14 plus x. One way is to solve the given equation. Then substitute the values of x in x to the power of 14 plus x and simplify it. Alternatively, if we can work out x to the power of k, where k is greater than one, then find out how x to the power of 14 plus x is related to x to the power of k. Because x squared plus x plus one equals zero. Multiplying both sides of the equation by x minus one, we have x minus one times x squared plus x plus one equals x minus one times zero. So x to the power of three minus one equals zero. So x cubed equals one. x to the power of 14 equals x to the power of 12 plus two, which is equal to x to the power of 12 times x to the power of two which is equal to x to the power of three times four times x squared. We can write this as x cubed to the power of four times x squared equals one to the power of four times x squared equals x squared. So x to the power of 14 plus x equals x squared plus x equals minus one. 
as x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So x squared plus x equals minus 1. Now we have an alternative method. Solve x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. We have x equals minus 1 plus minus root of 1 minus 4 over 2, which is equal to minus 1 plus minus root 3i over 2. x squared equals minus 1 plus minus root 3i over 2, all squared, which is equal to minus 1, all squared, minus plus 2 root 3i plus root 3i all squared over 4, which is equal to minus plus 2 root 3i minus 2 over 4, which is equal to minus plus root 3i minus 1 over 2. x cubed equals x squared times x equals minus plus root 3i minus 1 over 2 times minus 1 plus minus root 3i over 2 equals plus minus root 3i minus 3i squared plus 1 minus plus root 3i over 4 equals 4 over 4 equals 1. x to the power of 14 can be written as x to the power of 12 plus 2, which is equal to x to the power of 12 times x squared which can be written as x to the power of 3 times 4 times x squared, which can be written as x cubed to the power of 4 times x squared equals 1 to the power of 4 times x squared equals x squared. So, x to the power of 14 plus x equals x to the power of 2 plus x equals minus 1 because x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So x squared plus x equals minus 1. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Such as this one, given y squared plus 6y plus 36 equals zero, find y cubed. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. Can you think of other problems that can be solved using a similar approach? Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.